social media, SEO, email marketing, chatbots, etc. If you was one of my students on SEO course, of course, you was familiar with such service as fairnews.io. Fair News is a great chance to get links and to get articles on the most popular world websites. Today we have with us Alex Nigmatulin, who is CMO of Fair News Service, and Alex will tell us how to get published in online media in 2022. Alex will share best tips and practices, how to do it in the most efficient way. So don't hesitate, listen to Alex and give the questions. If your questions will be really good, Alex will answer. If they will be a little bit tricky, Alex also will answer them. So Alex, I'm happy to have you here. Hi, how are you? Tell a little bit about yourself. Uh, hi, Anton. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, my name is Alex Nigmaturin. I am Chief Marketing Officer at PR News IO. Uh, we are a digital PR solution and marketplace for sponsored content. I will tell uh, during my webinar about uh, our service more and how you can use it even for free. <laughs> Great. It's a great yeah. plan. Uh, we have some questions from our students that they asked uh, before it. And we, you can ask your questions in chat. So don't hesitate. Write your questions to Alex in chat. And I'll ask them to Alex after the webinar will finish. Alex, you are ready. I'm mute and you can start. Okay. Uh, mm, there is, uh, when you talk about appearances in media, uh, there are some opinions that a company doesn't need PR in the media at all right now because everything uh, goes to social ne social nets and uh, social media rules. Uh, and it is always hard to try something new when there is always an option to buy some ads from Google and Facebook or post a cool video and hope it will go viral. If you're a small company, in the first stages, it is necessary to build sales and large websites. Uh, sometimes PR can get in the way uh, because it can grab attention when the company isn't ready for it. You are afraid that PR is needed only for large companies and small businesses with their budget uh, should not do this. But don't be afraid because often small businesses are more quick in decision making. And uh, while uh, big companies will wait and uh, check with everyone in the management, a uh, small company can uh, win uh, their media battle. The real problem uh, appears uh, when company understands that it needs PR, but thinks uh, there is nothing to write about. Uh, later, I will talk about a few tricks and um, approaches that will help you generate great news stories that will attract the attention of the press the public and potential customers. Uh, but you need to understand that there is no magical publication where you can buy article and uh, hope to solve all your problems. PR is a constant daily work uh, with a result delayed in time. So let's uh, start with the question, why do you need uh, appearances in media at all? There are several tasks that media publications can solve for your business. Uh, first one is informing the audience about uh, the activities of your company. It is a classic function of PR. Some companies even must report their activity to, in the press. You can also increase recognition uh, of your company uh, because appearances in media work uh, as one of uh, seven touches you need to make to earn your customer. Uh, you can attract customers and uh, grow uh, sales because articles in media will warm up your audience um, and after audience will read your article, they will come prepared to your um, website. You can also use articles in media for reputation management. Uh, you need to fill the space with positive information about the company to prevent the negativity if it will come later. Uh, the, one of the popular approaches to use PR for uh, digital PR and link building. One of the factors why your site ranks high on Google is the number of other trustable websites that link to your company page. So you need to get as many backlinks as you can. And online media can be a perfect source for us. Uh, you can also gain trust with the help of appearances in online media. They are trustable sources, not only in the eyes of Google, but among your customers too. They will share their trust with the brands mentioned in their articles. That's why there are a lot of uh, blogs on the websites uh, featured on uh, with the names of brands. Uh, you should do that also. Uh, you can add uh, links to media uh, and customer will trust you more. 
you can even put a logo of on your merch uh, like uh, Danilo from Delfast did after his company was recognized by uh, Forbes. Uh, appearances in media can help uh, with verification process in social, in social networks. Uh, it is not possible without media. Uh, why do you need verification, you ask? Uh, because uh, of the problem of fakes. Large brands like Amway uh, regularly struggle from clones who steal part of their audience. Even if you're a solo real estate agent or a model selling pictures online, you can face such problems too. You need to pass verification like a blue tick on Instagram, uh, uh, but one of the conditions is appearances in media. So, uh, before we come uh, to uh, idea where to find relevant online media to promote your company, uh, you have to start with monitoring. Your work will be worthless if you will not catch the results. If you are only at the beginning of the process uh, of working with media, you can start with manual uh, systematic monitoring. Uh, just put the key queries into uh, Google, like uh, your company name or your company name review, etc. Uh, find all the websites and articles wrote about your company and collect them into a single spreadsheet called Media Monitoring List. You need to do this regularly, at least once per week, uh, to see the changes. Then you can set up monitoring with special services, like Google Alerts. Uh, they will send you an email every time it will find a mention of your company. But Google Alerts is slow, and sometimes they forget to send you links uh, that's why I will recommend you uh, using uh, some professional solutions like Onclusive, Mention, Brandwatch, LookMe. There are millions of them. You just add keywords and the services will automatically scan the media field, collect mentions of your company, and then send you report and draw uh, beautiful dashboards. Uh, here is an example of how it looks uh, on Inclusive, but all of them are pretty the same. Now you collect uh, a media database. It is a list of media in which you would like to be mentioned. You can start with the media you already read or try to figure out uh, what your potential, potential customers uh, are reading. Add the media uh, that already wrote about you before because they like you and they will write about you again. Add niche media and if you don't have an idea where to find them, go to PR News, the company I represent. PR News is a global marketplace with 75,000 websites that are willing to write about you. They accept all kinds of content, articles, press releases, interviews, and news. Media outlets are structured by niche, geography, traffic, site quality, and delivery speed. There is a fixed price for every publication. You pay only if your content will be published. You can use our collection of media, that, of media as a reference to create your own media database or just go straight to buying articles right now. Another approach to find good media for your media database is to analyze your competitors. You can do it with the help of HRFs, like we do. Uh, it is a cool service for digital publicists. I think you're familiar with it. Uh, it, is a, it has a link intersection tool. Uh, you just add the links uh, to the websites of your competitors, like I did with McDonald's, um, and uh, like I did with uh, Subway, I put the list of uh, added McDonald's, uh, Burger King, and KFC. And now I see uh, the list of websites uh, who link, uh, which, which link to uh, them, but uh, doesn't link to uh, uh, Subway. And uh, most of these websites are media. Uh, they write about your competitors, uh, but not about you. Uh, about Subway. Uh, all these websites are potential references uh, to business, uh, to Subway to get links. And you should do the same with your competitors. Uh, the next task is to prepare content for the media we collected. Uh, first of all, you need to understand that the media is also a business and they uh, seek uh, to generate income. Uh, there are three main uh, ways uh, how media can be monetized. Uh, they can have paid subscription, uh, donations of readers or the owners of the media, and advertising. Uh, so one way to get into the media is to pay for it. Uh, you can do it uh, with the help of PR News.io. Uh, or 
in that case, uh, or you can do it by yourself. Uh, if you pay for media, you control the timing of placement and the quality of the content that will be published. Another way that doesn't require direct payment to media is to offer them interesting and readable content. So then the media can sell advertising on the page with your article. Anyway, in both cases, you need to prepare uh, useful content uh, to both your customers and readers of the media you choose to get published on. Uh, uh, but there are some approaches uh, you can use uh, to generate uh, media. Uh, maybe I can tell more. Uh, 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 you can, uh, first of all, you need to uh, create um, uh, another document called the content plan, where you will put together all the ideas for the articles you want to, to write later. Start with the questions of your customers and follow with the ideas from competitors you get from the monitoring. Uh, there are several approaches for generating ideas that will allow your company to get into the right media. Uh, the first approach you need to master is newsjacking. Uh, when there's something interesting and uh, event occurs, uh, you can try to join it with your, uh, with your content. Uh, remember when Ronaldo moved away from the soda battle, a bottle on the press conference. Uh, a lot of companies tried to play this in their activities too. Uh, for example, IKEA introduced a bottle named after Cristiano and others started a holy war on popular soda brands. You remember all these uh, guerrilla uh, marketing uh, things uh, all the time. If there is uh, some fuck up uh, in uh, digital uh, space, there is uh, always uh, some brand who want to promote with it. Uh, you have to be creative and maybe your company uh, crazy and furious idea can become viral. But news jacking is not only uh, about crazy out of the box approach. Uh, you need to understand uh, and uh, to know uh, your customer pains and um, help them to solve them. For example, one of our customers, an online, online retailer, created um, a nice article about uh, fashion ideas for a hot summer. They published this article on a, a popular news portal and reach uh, 70,000 impressions without paying for promotion. So you can do something like that. If you understand that your uh, customers um, are just, well, I don't know, like a new thing on the market. Um, if you can uh, be the one who will tell how it works and uh, how, it, uh, how they can benefit from it, and they will be thank you, thankful to you, and they will uh, read the article about it. Uh, journalists are very fond of data and numbers um, because uh, they help them indicate uh, the real state of the market. So give them PR on data. Start to collect data about your business on day one. It will result in interesting reports. For example, the employment website Indeed uh, produces reports uh, based on uh, their data every day. Uh, if you sell coffee makers, you can create a report on the most popular coffee makers in the market and propose it to the relevant uh, media. Uh, you can conduct, uh, even conduct um, research uh, on the basis not of uh, your data, but on public uh, information uh, you can uh, take from Wikipedia or from other uh, uh, marketing uh, data. Uh, everyone knows that cases sell, uh, but it's really hard to pitch a journalist an idea of how you helped um, your customer because a journalist uh, will think that you want to promote your brand. That is why um, try cases in reverse. Uh, anyone can become the hero in someone else's case. Make a list of services you use and share the experience uh, with uh, their potential users on their blog. For example, I think uh, all, of, all of you use Google or use Slack or use Simil Web. Just prepare a nice article about how you use it in your team and um, reach uh, to the owners of the blog uh, about this and tell uh, how you use it they will be thankful for your content and will publish it. 
um, there is always a conference somewhere in the world and you can become a partner of it. Uh, every offline and online event uh, needs additional promotion. So in exchange for a letter to your customers or a post on uh, your Facebook page, uh, the uh, committee will agree to name you as a partner and, and a mention to their website. More, uh, you can, uh, they can allow you to uh, use the fact of the partnership in the media and uh, uh, you can write article about it. And they even uh, will spread the information themselves because they promote uh, their conference and all the partners of it. So uh, you prepared the articles and uh, you are ready to pitch journalists with your ideas. Uh, but make, let's make a quick stop. Uh, first, we need to help uh, those journalists who are in need. Um, you have to understand that to write an article, journalists collect information and they need a source for it. And you can become that source. Uh, there are services like Help a Reporter Out or Source Bottle, uh, where you can register and respond to, uh, respond to journalists' uh, requests. It is the first step to making friends with them. You just sign up, uh, put um, the, um, idea, the niche you are expert in, and you will get uh, every day up to three letters with the um, questions from uh, journalists. Just respond to one of them and uh, you can be lucky and can be mentioned in Taiwan media like Forbes or Financial Times. Uh, for pitching the news, I recommend starting with press release. They still work. Uh, you just need to remember uh, some simple rules uh, of their creation. The press release uh, has to be written in the third person narration. There is no place uh, for we in the press release. It should be built like in a pyramid approach. Uh, just imagine that it can be cut off from the end in every place and the reader still needs to understand what you mean. Uh, uh, so no intrigue in the title, uh, just go straight and tell what, where and when uh, will uh, happen or happened. Follow up with the explanation in the subtitle or lead and develop the idea in the body of the press release. Uh, don't put, forget to put uh, information about the, your company called Boiler Parade uh, to prove your reliability, reliability and uh, add uh, contacts um, um, of uh, responsible person in the end so journalists uh, can uh, contact uh, you in case they need uh, more clarification. If you need to boast <laughs> about something, add a quote uh, from the spokesperson of your company. Uh, the secret of grabbing the attention of journalists is preparing a letter. Uh, journalists usually get up to 50 uh, press releases per day so you need to respect their time. You also need to understand that most of them uh, look through uh, their inbox on their uh, cell phone. That's why your letter uh, have to be uh, prepared for cell phone read. So put the main idea into the subject line of the letter. Then add the facts in the first line, uh, say hello later, uh, because uh, you just have only uh, two Mm, lines to grab their attention. Uh, and it has to be really important so they will open the letter and don't swipe it to the uh, trash folder. Link to the press release uh, on your website inside the letter and add a reachable contacts for communication. And don't forget attachments. Visual content is very important. Without it, your article will not be published. And don't um, uh, forget to put uh, watermarks on any uh, visual content you created. For example, if you created a nice research and you have uh, a chart uh, you use, just put the watermark of your company. Because later uh, uh, text uh, can be lost, but the picture with a watermark will go viral uh, okay, will be used on uh, Pinterest and everywhere, and it will promote your brand. Um, if you did everything right, you'll be lucky, and the mentions uh, in media will follow. Now you need to understand how effective the articles in the media are. Uh, 
you also will need uh, a method to evaluate uh, the work of your publicists or contractors because uh, you, you will prosper and you uh, will not be able to do all the work yourself. Uh, the effectiveness of your activity in media can be measured uh, by the number of mentions you get. Um, this approach, approach is good, but it doesn't differ Taiwan media from small ones. Uh, you can use the PR value approach. Uh, it is based on assessment uh, in monetary terms. Um, uh, how much money you could spend on appearances in media if you paid for them, but you earned it for free. Uh, the next approach, uh, you can measure the effectiveness of appearances in media uh, with uh, general coverage of your campaign or uh, general coverage of uh, the article uh, in the number of readers. Uh, just sum up the readers of the, all the articles uh, inside the campaign and you understand are you effective or not. But not all the media are ready to share this information with you. Uh, that's why it uh, works uh, not in all the cases. You can uh, also ask uh, for research um, of the growth in awareness, but this approach works only for big brands because you really need uh, some data to analyze, to understand that the awareness uh, grow up or fell down. I recommend uh, use the PR points approach. The idea of this method uh, lies in the multiplication of the website's uh, quality score and quality index uh, of the exact article. And you can tune the formula yourself. The formula we use uh, for every mention we have is on the screen. For quality score, we use a domain range by hrefs. It tells uh, how quoted the website uh, is uh, where you get got mentioned. You can use uh, for quality score the domain authority by Moz or the number of visitors by SimilarWeb or any, any other way you can measure the quality of the website itself. For the media quality index, you can use uh, any criteria you like. For example, uh, you think that you will benefit more from mentions uh, with not only the name of your company in the article, but with the description of your business. So you will give two points for such articles instead of one. You can give more points to the articles with backlinks to your website. You can uh, reward um, uh, with a point the articles which were announced uh, on the homepage. So there are, the approach is really flexible. We also use a novelty as a factor uh, because we like uh, more um, when uh, we uh, get published on new uh, media outlet. Uh, using the PR points, uh, you can compare the results of uh, previous time periods with uh, today's results. You can also compare the performance of different PR specialists and collect the coolest mentions in one convenient table. Um, I will uh, give a link uh, to the um, draft uh, PR point spreadsheet where you can uh, use uh, your data and try to uh, play with the formula. So uh, your article was published, uh, what's next? Your work doesn't stop when a media outlet publishes your article. Uh, be sure to promote it, add it to your customer's newsletter, Share it, share it on social networks and give it to your sales managers so they can use uh, the material as an argument in working with potential customers. Uh, be sure to link the article from your website, add it to the featured own section. Uh, it will add for stability to your company. So uh, you can uh, make a, a podcast or webinar on the basis of the article. So don't stop still you have to promote it. And uh, media uh, will uh, understand that you uh, promote the article you published on and then they will like you more. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, now I'm ready to answer your questions. Feel free to reach me in any convenient way. 
Alex, thank you for a great speech. We have some questions uh, from our audience that were asked before. The first one, how to choose to whom I should uh, write? It's maybe about journalists. Uh, what, what are the best tips how to create the right uh, list of journalists? What do you can recommend in this case? Um, when you found the media outlets you like, uh, you can go to the... Uh, to check uh, the list of uh, journalists uh, they work with. You need to find uh, the right journalist um, uh, who write about your, um, uh, your thing, about your niche. Uh, then you can uh, look uh, for their contacts on uh, Hunter or on Twitter or reach them in, on LinkedIn. And um, uh, you can also... Uh, use the approach uh, of studying the competitors uh, uh, when you're looking for journalists too, uh, because uh, it will show the articles and the exact author who wrote that article. So just uh, type the name of competitor uh, to the HREFs and get the uh, links, uh, backlinks uh, to them, um, sort the uh, media, uh, who wrote about your competitor, and then you find the names of the journalists. Uh, the next question is how to promote your personal brand using your tool. Uh, I think not, not, not only my tool, you can promote by person, your personal brand as a, a company, uh, but it, um, like, like I told before, you can get appearances in media, and there are more benefits for personal brand because. Uh, People like to read about uh, people. That's why uh, it is uh, much easier to promote you as a person than to promote a brand. Because journalists also understand that uh, the article about uh, some uh, enthusiast will be more popular among their readers than uh, about some company with the, who wants to sell something. Uh, but there are uh, other things uh, you can benefit uh, when you promote your personal brand. For example, some countries like uh, United States uh, have um, uh, talent visa program. And when you want to move to United States uh, via that program, you need to, to be mentioned in media. So you need to prove that you are a really talented person. And um, uh, your Instagram account will not be enough. You need to prove... Uh, with the uh, links in the online media. Uh, we have a very specific question. How to find the right traffic sources for B2B in the field of industrial hardware? What do you think? Can uh, the PR publications and articles help this guy? Yeah, I think uh, the approach with the studying the competitors will work. Uh, you, Everything was uh, mm, invented before you. So just try to follow the leader follow the one you have on the market and uh, find the best solutions. So use Ahrefs tool, uh, put the name of your competitor and you'll find the uh, media they were mentioned on and uh, try to go from there. Great, thank you. Uh, we have some questions from Ukrainians who are struggling from war. What PR strategy should be during the war? what you recommend. And the next question is also the post, what channels to choose to communicate with the audience during the war? Yeah, mm, I'm Ukrainian myself. So I, yeah, we, we understand you and we're a Ukrainian company who struggle from the war. Uh, but we understand that um, in the crisis situation, you uh, still need to operate and still need to, to create the PR content, even if you um, uh, don't uh, have like active operations right now because after the war will end with uh, um, our uh, win, uh, with, uh, when Ukraine will win, uh, the business will continue and it will be much easier to you to uh, promote your brand later. You also need to tell about your humanitarian activities because there is some opinion that you don't need to tell about humanitarian opinion, uh, activities because uh, you want to promote on someone, uh, someone else. But I think that you need to tell because uh, when you share uh, your um, activities, um, uh, things you uh, support, uh, there will be more people who understand and will um, join you in your 
struggle. And um, uh, about uh, where you have the right uh, media you need to promote, right? Or stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, we understand that uh, now uh, people uh, moved and tried to uh, get the latest information from uh, messengers like Telegram, WhatsApp, or Facebook. But, and uh, we update uh, the messenger all the time and you see uh, the news uh, from, from there. But uh, news uh, to messengers come from uh, media. That's why continue uh, pitch media about your activities and it will come uh, to your readers on messengers. Uh, we have some feedback from chat. We have ch feedback from Princess Maya Folosko and Sophia. Uh, they told that it was really great, interesting webinar. We also have question from Lera Jaraga Spanyan. Uh, I'm sorry if I uh, uh, named your surname in not correct way. Uh, thank you for webinar. It was so interesting. Could you tell me, please, what the main criteria while choosing outlets for? getting Instagram verification. What did you tell about Instagram? I uh, this point this moment. Did you yeah, tell something I, about yeah, Instagram? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I told uh, before that uh, if you want to get verified uh, on Instagram, you need to be mentioned in media. Uh, mm -hmm. First of all, um, the uh, media outlet has to be uh, like tier one, tier two, like uh, more than uh, 100,000 uh, readers per, per month. Uh, the appearances in media uh, have to be without uh, uh, they without paid mark or PR mark. They need to be unmarked, and uh, they need to mention uh, the uh, name of your Instagram account. So the person who will verify your Instagram account will uh, find the articles about you easily when they will Google you or and your account uh, when they start the verification process. Uh, there are questions they can be like summary for all your speech how to attract leads using content maybe best practices as i told before you need to understand uh, their pains uh, of your customers and then uh, you can uh, prepare a nice article and uh, put you as an expert in this article uh, so they will uh, like you and uh, will uh, uh, go to your website and to go to your business uh, for their need. Um, there is also another approach, but it works with uh, paid media. When you uh, put article and you pay for it, you can add um, zero pixel from uh, LinkedIn or Facebook to the article. And then you can uh, reach uh, those people who um, read your article on Facebook and LinkedIn. They will be already prepared. They read about you in that article and they will be more likely to, uh, to use your service because they heard about you in media. It's a really good piece of advice about zero pixel. Uh, we have a question from uh, how can I stand out as a content marketer? Uh, the most of our uh, listeners, they are beginners in digital marketing. So do you have any tips to build a successful content marketing career? Uh, you need to um, master uh, the different approaches. Um, sometimes uh, there is someone uh, who did one thing good and they think that they are really, really cool guys. Uh, but the uh, professional content marketer, they uh, have the a variety of approaches they can use for different businesses and for different cases. And it is really important for a nice person to be adaptive. Also, uh, you need to understand uh, the needs of the other party. If you do uh, content marketing in media, you need to understand how media works and uh, how um, uh, journalists um, work and what do they, what do they need. Uh, you need to respect their time you need to um, uh, start to building uh, connections from the very beginning without uh, spamming uh, them, uh, but with helping them. We have one more provocative question. Uh, it looks like uh, you are helping guys to buy links. What Google think about your service? Um, 
buying links is only one uh, type of customers we have. Uh, our uh, marketplace was um, uh, built for PR specialists who want to promote their brand. And some of our customers uh, want to buy articles in media for backlinks, but not all of them. And um, <clears throat> uh, Google uh, can uh, penal penalize your website if they will uh, find out that you buy backlinks. That's why we tell you that you need to create really good content and pitch it to media. We just uh, show how the market is, and we understand that most of the um, publications are ready to publish articles uh, with backlinks to their customers. So the market is uh, as, as it, and uh, you can use it or you can use, use not. I have one more economical question. Uh, what is the, your most expensive article on PRnews.io? I think it's uh, 160,000 for Financial Times, but uh, yeah, but... Uh, uh, How but many people buy it? Zero. <laughs> but there are, uh, there are customers who buy um, articles for uh, 50 or 60,000. Yeah. For example, uh, article on TechCrunch, I think, cost uh, fifty or sixty thousand uh, United States dollars. And uh, if you want to get mentioned on the TechCrunch and to do it today and to get um, uh, leads from uh, that today, but not in like in some time when you pitch them, and uh, you can go and do it in uh, one or two days. We have some more feedback in chat. We have uh, feedback from Vlad. Vlad uh, told that it's interesting and useful webinar. And we also have a question from Yulia. Thank you for a great speech. You've mentioned articles for talent visa. If I need to get mentions for my visa case, do I use the same approach for choosing media outlets as for Instagram verification? What can you tell Yulia about it? Yeah, I think uh, the approach is uh, pretty the same, but you uh, need to work on your content. The content uh, needs to be really uh, show your as an expert. That's why, and uh, you need to um, uh, tell more why uh, about your story, about uh, the information uh, about your background. Uh, I think the uh, choice of media will be the same, but uh, their approach to the content will differ. You can go to uh, prnews.io and ask our representatives and we will help you uh, to create a nice campaign uh, for O2 visa. Alex, it's thank you for the... Uh, how the, the most uh, um, unusual topics uh, are mentioned uh, with the listeners. And what topics there were? Yeah, I am the Instagram verification and uh, visa. It's uh, an yeah, yeah, yeah. unusual, it's unusual approach for getting published in media because usually people uh, want to uh, promote their brand, to sell something, to get leads. Yeah, at the same time, a lot of people want to get links as fast as they can. It's about SEOs, PRs, uh, guys want to get uh, more PR articles and it's another case study. Uh, Alex, uh, I want to say thank you for a great speech, for great uh, answers to the questions. I was happy to have you on our platform. Thank you for such great service that helps people to make their services, their businesses more popular, more efficient in media. Uh, have a great day and see you on our other events. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Anton. Thank you for Promo Expert. Thank you, Udemy. Thank you, audience, for having me. Bye. Bye-bye.